Welcome again for another episode of the Chatterbox Chronicles, episode 312. <laughs> 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 we don't even keep in track at this point. Nah, what episode is this? Four? Might be. Yeah, four. Well, I'm Jacob. How are we, mate? I'm all okay, man. How are you? I'm good. You know, my first question to you always is, how's the hammy? Getting better. Saw the surgeon on Wednesday. Mm. Um, uh, positive news. I so like far. That. So far, no need for surgery right now. I like that. Go get another scan done in the coming few days mm. to let me know if I do need surgery. Okay, okay. So, the, but positive news right now from the surgeon. So that's all. That's all good. So no need for surgery right now. Nice. God willing, we can heal properly because um, yeah. apparently the radiologist read it wrong. Oh, nice. That's it. Yeah. I thought you could be able to play now, to be honest. Hmm? I thought you'd be able to play. Play? Yeah. What, you're not going to talk about how you were moving Saturday night? or? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? You see, when one individual gives you 1,500 tequila shots. Okay. And I had ibuprofen in my system. Mm, mm. Some mix. Plus Prosecco. Okay. Plus anything else anyone wanted to give me. Oh. Uh. My body felt quite numb. I see because I'm string pollen didn't look too I'm stringy. No, I didn't until I got home okay. and everything wore off and I couldn't walk up the stairs anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, just wondering. I was just wondering, just wondering. So your birthday, how was it? Yeah, all good, man, all good. Um real good vibe as you guys you gave yeah, there it anyway. Was unbelievable vibe. Real good vibe, so food was incredible. Yes. I was finita by the canapes. Oh my god, the canapes they were bringing out. I told you to stop eating though. Yeah, brother, I couldn't stop. The canapes were canopying. Listen, <laughs> I couldn't believe the standard. Also, I've never been to your dad's restaurant. Um, and it was incredible. It was, the food was special. Yeah, I told you, man, to stop ordering. No, I told you to stop eating, stop eating the canopies because I knew by the time starters came and then the main, no one would be able to eat anymore. Don't ever give you a set menu again, by the way. Why not? Disgusting. Like... I went, what if I wanted a burger and chips? You could have ordered that. I couldn't. You could have. I couldn't. The set menu was there. Don't get me wrong. The lamb shanks I had, incredible. So, what you, so how would you, how are you going to defer from that set menu anyway? How? If, yeah, if you wanted to, what would you have done? What, how would you have deferred? Because you're eating canopies that there's no tomorrow. Mm. So then you, you got your maybe I, maybe I wanted to small it up in the middle. Afterwards, the kind of piece I was full. <laughs> you were saying, don't let him lie to you. He was saying, sitting there saying to us, I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he yeah. said, I'm getting my money's it worth. It was, it was, it was. So and I did. You, okay. you, he ate the canopies. You ate 70 pounds worth of canopies. <laughs> before 70 pounds was it? Before you even, before okay. you even ate your meal. Okay. I'm just going to call someone quickly. Hopefully, hopefully they answer. There's only one man you're ringing. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Hello, Mandela. How are you, pal? <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really good. I'm really good. Um, I'm I'm on the uh, the chat box chronicles right now. So you got Jacob next to me. Okay. Um, didn't Jacob lie to us over the weekend? Uh, concerning. <laughs> um, when the when your bill come when your bill come and he said oh seventy pounds and. That's not Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So wait, why are you complaining? What? Not, not you, Mandela. Why are you complaining? What was your bill? Because my bill was seventy-three. That's because of service charge. Oh, so wait, so so we're doing service charging your dad's restaurant. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Or your sorry, dad's sorry. head chef. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you want me to take off? What, mine was. what was yours, Mandela? Mine was ninety quid plus. I paid fifty quid on the day. Good lord. Uh, I almost fainted. <laughs> 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 but Mandela right at the top. Nah, so what we've come to the conclusion is that this Jacob brother swindled us again. I did not swindle you. I was swindled. What are you talking about? <laughs> I did not swindle anybody. I told you. So you said you could order anything, the thing's going to be. Uh, set menu. So, Mandela, set menu. Mandela decided to drink like the. Like no, 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 no. Because how did Mandela's bill get to 90 or pound? Because he. I don't know, I'll be honest. There was no dessert on there either. No, you, dessert, you, you, you ordered dessert, but you left before dessert. So basically what happened was 
He did he, he did you not see the small print where he put on the stake fifteen pound supplements? Did you see that? Oh, no. Oh, he's a nasty bit of work. <laughs> the worst thing see, is I gotta deal with people. The worst thing is don't listen to them because the worst thing is I would have happily paid for everyone's bill. Oh sorry, see what I mean now he's see now he's talking what did he say? Fucking rich. You see what I mean? Now he took it what did he say? He took it Ajipong money again. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, what did he say? Nah, here we what go. did he say? Here we go. Ajipong money is large. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it was non existent on the night. Aye, it, <laughs> I, if, what, I think I still spent more money than all of you guys. Listen. I want to know. I, I would like to know how this woman was bringing me drinks like they was on the house. <laughs> and after four drinks, she bought me a drink and a bill. <laughs> me and Osiris. That, was that wasn't my doing. That wasn't my doing. I don't know what was going on there. Mm, of course. But at, mm. the of, at the end of the mm. night, honestly, at the end of the night, honestly, I had honestly, to pull out I'm my honest. American Express and spend a lot of money. What I'm saying is, it was your because dad's restaurant, and then your dad, your dad was like Batman the way he went into the shadows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cost of living. Everyone well, needs to make money. It is, it I is. had to spend. I had to spend my own money. When that, you, I've not spent my own money in that restaurant for God knows how many years, but I had to spend my own money. I couldn't believe what was oh, I saw. If I yeah. had to pay, then how can everyone else get away with not paying? I. Man, that's Honestly, just... I'm happy with it though. It was a lovely, lovely night, lovely meal, and I'll do it all again. I wouldn't. Do it in two years. <laughs> Yeah. Give me some time to recover. Thank you, Mandela. We just, we just needed you there, my boy. Thank you very much, no sir. No problem. More. Have a lovely evening. You too, sir. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> See, so we had to debunk your lies because you the, told me I didn't was, not... you told me it was sixty-five pound originally. And so, then when, a... so why did I have to pull out eight pound? <laughs> what do you mean? What if I left in my account seventy pound? Then you wouldn't have been able to get home. Hmm? Then you wouldn't have been able to get home. How do you know? That? What do you mean? You would not have been able to get home from central London if you left five pounds in your account. <laughs> That is why. That's how I know that. <laughs> so you can't come here and tell me sixty-five pound for what you got is a bargain. No, no, no. Free quarter. No, ask anyone. Central London. Go, Christopher's. Christopher's. Everyone. Christopher's Covent Garden. Christopher's Unreal. American Bar and Grill. If you go and spend sixty-five pound on free courses plus canopies plus free prosecco all night because no one paid for that because that was on Jacob. Yeah. I didn't have no Prosecco. Why did you not? That was your because choice. Because I had the uh, mocktail. Oh, that was that, really nice. That, yeah, so you had a nice yeah. drink. No, but you could have been drinking Prosecco all night because that, mm. was, that was me. Okay, okay. Plus the canopies. Yeah, yeah. Plus your photos you got. Yeah, yeah. Plus the DJ providing the vibe. I think, by the way, your, cam your cameraman swindled me a bit. How did he swindle you? Um, he had the camera pointing in my direction, but he wasn't really taking pictures oh, of me. Oh my God. Have you looked at the shared album? The shared album's really nice. I, I've seen you got a lot of photos in it's, there. It's seven. Three is that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to message Lex after we've done recording yeah. and tell him to send all the unedited photos. So he okay, can send cool. everything. So you guys can have everything. Okay, cool. No worries. No, I loved them. I loved it. It was an unbelievable evening. Really enjoyed it until the bill came. Man said until the bill came. Yeah, great evening. Sometimes in life, people... You see me though, I'm normal. So my birthday's Monday. And what I thought, you know, instead of, you know, saying everyone, here's, here's your right arm, you know what I mean? In the middle. What I've done is I've said, you know what, everyone come to the house and all the, my nearest and dearest, you know, we'd have a little, little meal in that. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, whip up a little meal, you know, no one has to pay because, you know, making bum people pay you on your birthday is crazy. So what do you want me to do? I, I was, I was actually I'm joking. The, the worst thing is I was I'm ready to pay a two. I was ready to pay a two grand bill. No, nah, I wouldn't. People. We would never let you do that. I know, but I was yeah. ready to happily. Yeah, no, do no, no, no. I get it. it. And you know what we got for it was incredible. I'm just running jokes. I know you. Are. It was, yeah, it was, it was brilliant. It was amazing. Yeah, you just, I try. And the food obviously helped me because I played your team on Monday. Oh yes, you did, and you had a sensational game. It might have been that or Danky sounds. I don't know. Cause I did go Danky <laughs> on a Sunday night. <laughs> Yeah, I did it, thank you. Yes, you did, because you tried to get me out outside and I couldn't, yeah, yeah, I you couldn't, couldn't make it. Couldn't yeah. Move. yeah, no, but you did You did play on Monday against my my team. Yeah. You played sensational, I'll be a real. Well, you kept your game. Yeah, kept, kept your team, on. Yeah, yeah. Kept your team, because it should have been 5 0 in the first half, the amount of 1 1 yeah, yeah. that we had. But um, nah, made some great 1 1 saves. Yeah. Was it, we were talking during the game. Yeah, me and Jake were having a conversation during the game. Like, yeah. He was in the stand and I was over there. We were just having so. a chat. Yeah, was it? But all in all, I, 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 the games aren't great to watch ever. Never. Never. Like I don't. I, you'd never watch it really unless you're playing it. I actually couldn't watch Conference South. Football yes, it's not because it's just a game of who can kick it and who can head it the furthest, mm -hmm. and who doesn't make a mistake. Yeah. And then you hope someone scores a goal. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, 
our boy Joe Yule got dragged after 20. Yeah. And then he tried and now it's retirement. <laughs> Joe blood. What's wrong with you, bro? You had bad days, bro. Grow up. Yeah, man. Just just, just keep it keep it pushing. Honestly, man. Happens, man. I know it's your old cover that. Keep it's it a pushing. minor, man. Yeah. Come on, broski. Do you know what I mean? Like, legend in non-league. Mm-hmm. Come on, broski. We all love you at the end of the day. Don't, yeah, just bro. keep it pushing. We don't need to hear Honestly, it. We don't need to retire. But I gave you a paragraph. I looked at the paragraph and said, Joe, shut up, man. <laughs> No just come on, bro. Talk, my brother. Honestly, just keep it keep it pushing. So yeah, man. But other than that, week's been quiet, man. Yeah, man. Nothing's really happened. Yeah, week's been mad quiet. Nothing's really happened today. I saw um, Kendrick Lamar. Well, J Cole brought a new album, and he had a few. He had a diss track responding to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Other than that, do you know what? I don't understand why Drake's even replying to these guys because Drake's a way better artist than all of them. Like overall, like if I'm Drake, I would just say, you know what. I'm not conversating with you, man. Someone wake up, Mike. Make up with Mike who? Jack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wake him up so I can have a real conversation. Yeah, but no, that goes... To that, but what is Drake then? Is he a pop star? Drake is everything. No, no, but what is... So what's Michael Jackson? The biggest artist that ever lived. Okay, but Drake... But, he yeah. would, but they would record. They would put him in the pop star. But he's an R&B singer as well. Yeah, but remember, they weren't classing him as that. They were classing him as a pop star. Yeah. So what is Drake? Is Drake a pop star? Is Drake a... Rap Drake, Drake's a rapper, pop star, and R and B artist. Yeah, and this is the problem. This is the problem. Then you can't put yourself as saying you're the greatest rapper alive. Hmm? Your top five greatest rappers alive. You can't put yourself in that category yeah, for hey, saying you're this and that. True. Yeah, That's why true. you have to respond to stay in this game. It's true. Yeah, I can. I get that. I hear that. I hear that. See the music thing. I just like that they're doing a little beef now. There's none. Of, there's no ending like Biggie and Park. You know, that ain't just, happening no more. These men got too much to lose. Yeah, I just want it how it is. You know, it's music beef, it's not. Yeah, yeah. I'm just glad Diddy's not involved in this one, to be honest. <laughs> well, he's probably got some back at <laughs> <laughs> He's got some somewhere down the line he's tinkered with something. Yeah, you know yeah. the diddler. The diddler's a sicko, man. <laughs> I don't even read him off again, but that's the last time we mentioned him ever on this show. Um so I bet obviously you having time off and that, you've probably been able to think about everything, probably. Mm. So um I actually wanted to ask you, um, you know, because we are as much as you like to about everything, we are sportsmen. Yes. And our sports. relative sport is soccer. Mm-hmm. Well, football. Right now it feels like rugby, but... Yeah. Right, right now it does feel like rugby, <laughs> freaking hell. Gaelic football. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, um, I wanted to ask you, you know, growing up through the academy system a lot, mm. and you come out of it, mm-hmm. maybe any time, but what was your introduction to the game? You're like, rah, like, this is football, like... My introduction to this is football would probably be... It could be anything, but not like not even a match. It could be anything, any moment. My introduction to this is football that's outside of the Premier League Yeah. was when I went to Aldershot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was my introduction to this is football outside of the Premier League because yeah. that was my first time outside of the Premier League. That mm-hmm. was just... We trained on a rugby pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> we trained on a rugby pitch, which was basically a cow patch across the road from yeah. the st- um, across the road. Um, f- to be fair to me, it was ran quite professionally. Mm. We actually had a physio. Yeah, crazy. I've been places where we don't have them. Yeah, yeah. We had a physio. We also had um, we had a boot skit. We had stuff like that, and we didn't have to nice. wash our own kit. Yeah, no, yeah. no, that was that was it. We had to wash our own kit. Yeah, so that was my introduction to this is football on the like, non league scale, but. Mm. Just this is football in general. I'd say Miami when I was nineteen. Go to Miami at nineteen is crazy. So yeah. you didn't want to do Napa IB for all of them. You just said you're not know, let me go straight to Miami. Me and Mandela, the man you just had on the phone. Yeah, see, sums you both up. Though. <laughs> just... We sat in my living room. Hold on, didn't Mandela literally land from Dubai and come to your mill? Yes, he did. Yeah, he's an interesting man. Yeah, got but interesting yeah. friends, man. <laughs> go on. Miami, ni- Miami, nineteen. We sat in my living room, and we were literally two days before we actually left. We we're like, oh, I want to go on holiday. Where should we go? And we're looking at countries. We're looking at countries. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, Miami? <laughs> you can't even get in anywhere. <laughs> we, we, didn't, we didn't think that through. But okay, we said, on, yeah. We said, Miami. So we're sitting there. We're sitting there. We said, yeah, cool. And then we said, should we card roulette? For who pays for the holiday? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing. And I said, at this time, I said, nah, nah, nah. Let's not do that. Yeah. Because we're going to be unreasonable when we get out there. So let's just try and be reasonable before we yeah, get to yeah, Miami. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and then we got to Miami and then obviously Wolf knew where, Wolf saw my snap wearing Miami. Yeah. And he's like, Jacob, what are you doing? Like, you're, you're, you're too young to be here. What are yeah, you doing here? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And I was just thinking, bro, we just came out on a whim. 
we just said, yeah, let's go Miami. Next thing I know, Wolf has basically said, come out with us. I managed to get you in. Yeah, it's a powerful man. Yeah, so he said, come yeah, out yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah, he had it. Wolf's got juice still. Yeah, so. Serious juice. So then we, um, and this is the first thing we messaged him, because we're young and he said, what, what do we wear? You know, in London. <laughs> You know, in London. What do we wear? What do we wear? Yeah. You know, in London, it's the, yeah. the, the it's the different type of sweat. Yeah, in London. yeah, yeah, of course. Out there, you can go into the club in anything. anything. Yeah, you can wear so, shorts and that. Yeah, he was like this. Just put on clothes and meet me at my yard. Yeah. So we rolled up to his yard. He had a crazy mansion out there, and we're thinking, yeah, this is this is it. And then we rolled in a party bus with a million like, with bare things, yeah. basically. And we went to oh, I believe the club was Aura. I want to say Aura. Mm. Went there, and that's when I realized. This is this is this is the life of this is the football life. This is, a, this is if, football. If yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're in the club, vibing out in that club. We we got finished, went back to Wilf's, fell asleep on his sofa. <laughs> I remember, and then the next day we were absolutely done. He was like, "Meet us at meet me at Ocean Drive" because we had to go back yeah. to the hotel. So he said, meet me at Ocean Drive. We and my dad didn't make. We didn't wake up. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, did not. You know wake what I mean? You're meant to be doing freaking. You know what I mean? Buying fish bowls in Napa and that. Going <laughs> yeah. black and white and that. And we were going... We were Fighting going. every other young footballer. Mm-hmm. For Jones and you're in Miami. <laughs> no, we were in Miami. We were, we were going big time. And then we went Club Live on a Sunday. What a place. Yeah, so we went Club Live on a Sunday. But this is where we ran into problems. Because obviously we don't have ID. Well, yeah. we have ID, but it's telling them we were too young. Yeah. So we got in. Mm-hmm. We got in. Yeah. And we're in, we're, we're vibing, vibing, vibing. Did you get in or was you just inside the Fontaine Blue? No, no, we got in. Oh, I'm with okay. Wilf, innit? So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with that group. So they were like, oh, no, no need, for, no need for ID. But one bouncer was moving silly. So he was coming saying, no, 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 they they haven't, someone here's not got ID because I didn't show anything. Yeah. So I bopped, him, I bopped in. We're in the club, vibing, vibing, vibing. I see three, three black brothers and two big white brothers, bouncers, come yeah. down the stairs, looking, looking, looking. And they're looking for someone. And I know what they're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for me in it. So what we're trying to do is slide each other an ID. Yeah. But they're like, everyone show me your ID. So what we're trying to do is show slide. Yeah, show so, slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. And essentially, remember, my dad is younger than me. Yeah, yeah of course. But he, he was, they didn't clock him. Yeah. So essentially what happened is basically. You know, why do you not duck, like, duck go where? in the shadows? Duck where? We're in the table. It's, yeah, but you should have like <laughs> climbed over the table. And duck, like, <laughs> and sitting to the shadows onto the dance floor. Nah, man, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, and then essentially, long story short, they kicked me out, but oh, I weren't no. leaving without Mandela. Oh my God. Yeah, go on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I... <laughs> if, if I'm dying, everyone's dying. Basically. Yeah. I said, look, because we, we came here together, so we're, we're leaving, leaving together. together. Yeah. Yeah. Mande- so we, I said, nah, 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 I, I'm not the only one that's underage. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's not just me. You're a nasty piece of work. <laughs> He's underage too. <laughs> He's coming with me. <laughs> How do you still talk to you? Ah, oh, bro. Do you know what's even more jokes? So we've left the club, yeah? yeah. And Wolf, Wolf goes, go back to my place, yeah? Mandela's yeah. so annoyed at me. He doesn't speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> From Wanton Blue. Do you know how far that is? <laughs> From Wanton Blue. We walk. Which means you walked? Bro, we walked, yeah? We walked. And Mandela walked about 40 yards in front of me the whole journey home. He walked. Where was... No, 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 no. no. Forte Blue is like the other side. Like, So how... Fo- you must be bopping for at least an hour and a bit. Bro, we were bopping for a long, long time. Mandela didn't say a word to me. Oh. I'm busting up behind him because <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just being kicked out of the club. But he's had to come out with me. He's so pissed off. <laughs> he's bought a new outfit out there as well to go oh, out to club with him. Oh, my Because we've gone to um, Bow Harbor to go shopping yeah. during the day because we knew we were going out. So we said, oh, yeah, let's get, let's get pieces. Yeah. And then there's gone Gucci store. I'm in Balenciaga downstairs. <laughs> I remember they're giving us champagne, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So we bought stuff to go out. And then we've had to, and then we got kicked out. And it's not him that's got kicked out. I got kicked yeah. out. Yeah. So we're just bopping down the road. He didn't see I don't know why you just didn't stay in the lobby. You could literally stay in the lobby in the Fontaine Blue. I know, but because... The lobby's ridiculous. The I standard. know, I know. But because we got in and um, the things that we had when we got in, <coughs> Wilf was there. Yeah. When we walked in, we walked, we, had, we had like 10 things with us. When we walked in, we had like 50. And I said, who are they all with? He said, they're all with us. I said, I can't believe this. <laughs> I, can't I, said, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. So I was buzzing thinking, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a great night. Next thing I know, 20 minutes in... <laughs> I'm popping down the heat on the road. And you know it's so hot. I took off my top, yeah. walking down the road, strolled all the way back. I don't think Mandela spoke to me until the next morning. And he said, you "Just you ruined my night." 
all because you didn't have ID. And I looked at him and said, you're younger than yeah, me. You, you ain't got ID either. <laughs> exactly. You were just lucky that they didn't clock you. Yeah. So yeah, that would have been probably my well, this is it moment for us. This is football because obviously that was like, that I is. saw everything right. at yeah. such a young age. And I said, oh yeah, I want to be do. I want to be able to do this one day. And I, I, and I couldn't go back to Miami again and not do it that way because you be Miami with, with such yeah, a person that's got a high status. Yeah, you know what I, mean? oh, yeah. I said, I'm, I said, I'm not going back to go clubbing or like a party unless or anything like, like that. that yeah. Unless it's like that. I can't do it any different. That's hilarious, man. So that was my... That is joke. <laughs> this is football moment. That is... That's a real introduction. <laughs> I, I actually hear it like that as well. They don't understand like there's levels to this. Mm -hmm. Like real, real, real levels to this, man. Yeah, I couldn't go back to Miami and just do, do a... <sighs> do a small small holiday because we because we were even us we were out there we didn't we didn't have to spend money like yeah. that but we were still spending, spending money. money yeah of course you get especially what I mean especially Wilf like good guy yeah he's not gonna he's gonna look after the young youth you know? yeah, but, that's what people don't appreciate and that's the thing we'd always offer to pay yeah we were like oh no we'll, we'll pay for it be like come mm. on man be, be serious yeah. but at the end of the day he's still every young youth at Palace has always said like he's like that like he looks after you like if he sees you and that yeah no he's a, you. Yeah, you know, he's a real good guy I think misunderstood yeah but real good guy that's hilarious fair. man like what a place. But what is your... This is... <laughs> <laughs> this My is, introduction. Yeah, your introduction to the, the, being a real footballer. Mine would be... I don't know. Mine... If it was on the pitch, it'd be... I remember I played a pre-season game. Mm. And um, Arsenal reserves. And we're playing Stevenage at Stevenage's ground. And um, I remember being in a tunnel. I was young, like, I remember, like what, 18? Mm -hmm. Marga, the lot, like, maybe it's grown men. And I've walked out the tunnel. And then um, all the older boys, uh, I think, like, the reserve reserves, they were mm. all leaving. Because they're like, listen, we've touched 20, blah, blah, like, I want to leave. So yeah, yeah. all the boys I had in my first preseason game, they weren't there anymore. So it's just, like, the ones who just got pros or mm -hmm. whatever. And, young, and the young lads, and we're playing Stevenage. And um, I remember coming out the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come out the tunnel and I thought his name. Is it Darius Charles? I think Charles. I think it might be James the boy. What's his name? Darius Charles. Is his name Darius Charles? I don't know. Mm. But anyways, um, he's come out the tunnel, but he's come out of his top off. And this brother is flipping whap. Mm. Like I'm talking about, he is, he's, he's come to intimidate us, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like the young boy, if you're going to do a, if you're going to do me. Mm -hmm. I'm not even joking here. Jacob, he's pulled out his shorts, yeah. You know the smelling sorts? Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> I looked over. <laughs> I've never been so scared in my life. <laughs> no, you know you have smelling sorts to wake someone up, don't you? Mm. No, they wake someone up. He went. <sighs> I said, I don't want none of this. <laughs> so what the hell is this, man? What the hell is this? Yep. Come on, bro. Like, this is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> what kind of madness you landed? to Honestly. <laughs> bro, I remember as soon as the first corner landed, this guy was looking me dead in the eyes thinking, oh, he's going to absolutely ruin me here. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, he was cool. Like, didn't really do much. I think that was just his thing. Intimidation factor. But if it was to be like, introduction to real ball, or yeah. what, what could really happen in ball, if mm -hmm. you really do make it. Mm -hmm. So I was out. This one I was in Manchester. And I was out in Panacea. And mm -hmm. my... Girlfriend used to work the doors in Panacea, whatever. So I was out in Panacea and then with a couple of my boys and I've tried to go to, there's another club back in the day called Circle. Mm. So I've got to Circle, but I wasn't allowed in there. Right, right, right. Right, cool. So I wasn't allowed in there. So they were like, oh, there's a casino. I'm like, not far. Should we go? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, Never been in casino before. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. So I'd gone to the casino and um, got some cash on me, whatever. And that, oh yeah, play roulette. I don't know what I'm doing. I said, oh, I gave the guy the money. He's like, I'll give the guy the money and do you get some chips back? Mm -hmm. Or the chips back? So I placed some chips everywhere. Jacob, I'm not joking. When people say beginner's luck, yeah? Beginner's luck is real. Definitely in the casino. I know. All right, it is so real. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the casino and I mean, I'm just putting my chips everywhere and it is landing on landing on landing. I'm thinking, right, this is easy. Like, <laughs> I didn't even lose. Yeah, I see what... my boy's chips. I see the guy, like, my boy's chips go... <laughs> You yeah. know the drag team they did the drag, the drag, and the guy just, 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 just that one there. <laughs> the guy's just throwing me chips in that. So Jake, I'm not even joking. Like I must had about 150 pound in my mm. like in, in where well, I came with, what I came yeah. with, 
I must have been about three and a half grand up mm-hmm. in chips. So anyway, I'm in there and then one of the boys, no, I can promise you a footballer, I'm not going to mm. say names, whatever. Yeah. He knows him. He's like, oh, cool, cool. He goes, I'm going to play on your table, blah, blah. Guy goes like this with a wad of cash, just goes. <laughs> but he's, what I not noticed is he's walked in with a, like, an absolute baddie. Mm. And the baddie sat on the chair, but nobody can see them, the sweet chairs. They're just it? swinging around. And this is when her thing was all glittery, her dress was all glittery. And this is when, you know the sparkly black loops are in? Oh, yeah. I remember. And her red zone with the sparkly black loops with the spikes. She was just there swinging. She was just looking at me like this, innit? And she looked at me with all my chips like, right. And she's just watching me. And the British footballer's like, just threw the cash down. And he's got blocks, innit? <laughs> so he got the blocks. So I looked at my thing and I've gone, right. He's got blocks. I said, threw up some of my thing. said, yeah, let me get two blocks as well. <laughs> let me get two blocks. So um, anyway, he's just throwing around the blocks, no worries. So I'm like, right, like, is he so that? Mm. I'm throwing around my blocks. And my blocks. I've got my chips. Bro, Pro- blocks are like 250, though. Huh? Bro, blocks are like 250. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I was when I tell you I had a like I still had about a grand worth of chips left, mm. and I am placing these chips everywhere. Yeah, and I'm thinking, cool. If I lose, like, I'm safe in it. Yeah. Obviously, spins in it, spins the tig. But I've noticed I'm not covered thirty four. <laughs> you know when you're staring at the one number, you ain't covered. <laughs> but, but I've got mine on like corners. Mm. Do I mean numbers a lot? I'm like, wow, thirty four's empty. <laughs> Jacob, you know movies where it goes small, the ball, the ball's bouncing like <laughs> ding, ding. I'm looking, and she's looking at me. I'm just seeing like I'm in the corner. I'm just looking at the table now like this. <laughs> Jacob, I'm looking at the table like this, bouncing, bouncing, <laughs> bouncing. <laughs> When it landed on that 34, Jacob went. You know when like everything just goes cold, like yep. the whole front like ice block. Mm-hmm. And she's like, she's been there swinging on the chair. She just done this swing like this. That brother just looked, look, he looked like, oh, I lost my team. That's calm. Like, I'm just going to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that means nothing to me. Like, what? Like, oh, that was nothing. Like, mine are. I'm sitting there like this. I can't breathe. <laughs> The keys are all over, like, oh, your wings are ready. He goes, oh, your wings are ready. He goes, sir. He's telling me, like, sir, sir, your wings. <laughs> that man's still staring at the table. <laughs> Take him. The man is crashing. I heard the man like this. He goes, was it um, next mid, please? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> when I tell you the casino, yeah? Oh, man. You don't win. Like, it that... is so humbling, bro. The amount of times that place has taught me lessons. Bro, the casino will teach you a lesson or two. It's about life. About life, bro. <laughs> a quick life lesson that you needed to learn <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> You'll never learn it any other way. Nah. Bro. <sighs> oh, there's... Nah, man. That's why I can't go back, man. Like, there was a period where the guy's like, like, obviously, I've been a genting, you know, you're the genting. <laughs> I was a Graves in the member, I used yeah. to be. And he's like, rah, fuck again. I'm just like, <laughs> like, like, damn, like, <laughs> like, chill out, man. It's supposed to be a that. It's supposed to be my thing, bro. Like, chill out, bro. They like doing that. Yeah. They like oh, yeah. doing that. Speaking of casino stories, I'll tell you one time when yeah. I lost. I told it before, but I was, um, so I was in the Graves now and I was down. So I was, I was up, I was up, so I was having a good night and then I was down. You know when you're down, you just start losing your mind. Yeah. So I was down, I was down and I was getting annoyed. I'm sitting there annoyed, annoyed, annoyed. Playing, I'm playing blackjack, not roulette. Yeah. And I, you know you get the free biscuits and the mm-hmm. free juice and that sort of stuff in the yeah. casino. So ordered that, so I said, oh, let me get some biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> let me get some biscuits. Yeah, so I'm in the casino just trying to play my hand. I lose another hand and I look across <laughs> across the casino and I said a shout where the fuck are my biscuits <laughs> just getting mad at everyone <laughs> mad go mad scream across the casino yeah my boy's with me my boy's with me he's like this 
Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. <laughs> the right there. <laughs> 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 and I've had to go. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is the whole casino. Yeah. Everyone look at you. Like, yeah. Right, you shouting? Yeah, I've had to go. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> My bad. I lost. I lost. The yeah, bro. Bro, that day I learned you can't play this game with emotion. You can't. <laughs> you you have it. to know that you're gonna lose. Yeah. Like if you lose, you lose. Mm -hmm. If you win, you, know, you take your win and you be humble with it. Yeah, you gotta come. You gotta come there and know you might lose this money. Yeah. And be happy with what it is. Bro, it's like another tie the casino. Yeah. I'm in there and I've gone with Paddy Osadibi and who else I go with? Oh, I can't remember. I think Nathan Cameron. A few of the Macclesfield boys, yeah. And I've got, got like little 50 quid out mm -hmm. on the roulette. And I see one, like one Asian guy, he's winning, yeah. And like, right, like, I ain't going to tell you. It's oh, like, I play the thirds. Like, look at the table. Like, look at the, them look at the team. No, 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 bro, Jacob, this brother was winning. Like, he kept winning. I so I was like, right. So I started table. following all he was doing. So I'll look at the screen saying, oh, he's going to come like second third now. Mm -hmm. So I put my things there, second third, put a couple of chips, and I'm winning. But that one know it. My 50 pounds at like 750, 800. Mm -hmm. The boys look at me like, raw, like, what's going on? I go, yeah, this is me, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Kept a little little bill out, you know what I mean? Just thought, oh, yeah, you know, little 50 pounds, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I'd pay this. So I walked over to the woman confident and gone, oh, yeah, chips, please. Like, can I uh, mm -hmm. get my uh, widow's back? <laughs> He's like, yeah, no worries. Got my money, whatever. Play it now. The brother's gone. So I'm still trying to use his method of the thirds, whatever. Now my joint's not landing. Of course it's not. What you don't realise is, you see that woman you walk to, the cash point is right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I need to get my money back, man. Jacob, mm -mm. by the time I knew it, that whole eight, seven fifty I won, mm -hmm. gone. Of course. God, the boys are looking like, rah, like cooks, you still up? <laughs> you know you got to say, yeah, I'm up like I two said, pound. I was, like, I was like this. He goes, like, nah, man. <laughs> Oh, man. I remember exactly the day as well. Remember that song? Uh, I'm trying to love you like a gangster. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying, isn't it? Boys, obviously, that was a bag when it first yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. bagging it, innit? Well, we're in a car journey on the way home, innit? That was it, Narco. <laughs> and then we did. I said, hey, bro, turn that fucking shit off, man. <laughs> <laughs> turn that shit off, man. It's the drive's home. The whole car journey was just like this. No one said a word, just like this. <laughs> You know what, dude, another funny thing about the car journeys is at one point, everyone just busts up laughing. <laughs> but no one talks about how you can't breathe. No. Like, see that. There's a moment where you're like, you're like, oh my God, and you just go numb. But you know what? Seeing someone else lose money it's, is the funniest, it's the funniest, funniest stuff ever. Broski? Like, ever. I tell you, when, my, when I was going to the casino with my boy, I say his name because you don't play ball. Yeah. Matt, yeah? He, he worked his way up. Worked yeah. his way up. And I'm sitting there, sitting there thinking, yeah, okay, cool, Matt. You're, you're good, bro. You're good. It's time to go. Yeah. It's time to go. He said, nah, I'm on a good run. I'm on a good run. Yeah. He put everything, everything he won that night yeah. on black. And I told him, I took it off black and he put it, on, and he put it back on. He said, no, 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 no. I told him, brother, leave with it. He said, nah, I'm going to win. The, the spin came, the spin came. <laughs> It landed on number seven, yeah. red. He turned around, and because I looked at his face, I started crying with <laughs> laughter. <laughs> I just looked at his face and started crying with laughter. Because I told him and I warned him, warned him. And he said, this is under his breath. It never lands on red. <laughs> and I said, what? This is the casino. <laughs> he said, it never lands on red. And the brother was walking around. You know he's walking around? The yeah. Casino? Head up, head up. Next place I see him. Where do I see him? Cash point. Of course. Trying it always to, happens. Trying, trying to, to get win his bit. money back. It I said, don't happen, man. I said, brother, you should have taken the money when you were and up. And run. Because you know this place. And once you win in the casino, you need to spend that money today. Into, yes, yeah, yeah. Don't take it you know, home. You take it home, you're like, you know what? Let me go add on top of this. Yes, because you say, oh, that's casino money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not mine. Yeah, you know yeah. when you start doing that madness in your head? Oh, it's not mine. You start chatting. You see, once you win, that money is yours, you know? It's yours, bro. Get out. Just if you if you win if you win a ten up, leave. Honestly, you heard the funniest thing to casino. I heard a man scream and I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard a man scream. <laughs> that was all I got.
My black current lemonade went everywhere. That's oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I can't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> so that's all I got. <laughs> Jacob. Oh. <coughs> I shouldn't laugh, man. To see someone lose like that is crazy. No, but the fact that they're in there doing it to themselves is so funny. <laughs> no, <Nah>, man. <laughs> I'm getting cold, man. <laughs> Oi. Casino shouldn't be allowed, man. <laughs> oh. My good oh. gosh. Bro, the things that happen in that place. It's not real, bro. They're real life life lessons, you know. Broski, it's not real, man. That's why you hear people living in sewers and that in Vegas and that, man, because it is crazy, bro. When he actually screamed that, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it means you shouldn't laugh, but because... <laughs> you can't scream that around me, bro. What did you mean? Fuck. If you don't that's all I can't. <laughs> I would have been gone. I, there you go. Gone. They had to carry me out, man. I ruined the table when I tell you the spit went by. I was sitting by black girl left laid, and I heard that man scream. And you only had a table like, "Pull me, get the chips moving." I said, "Oh my god!" I said, "No." Oh man. Nah, man. I've been to a casino and then man have asked after. You got any jobs going? <laughs> Man, I'm asking after. Cause you got any maintenance jobs coming? <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I freaking hate it here. Oh man, nah, man. The casino. I tell you now, if you want to go and laugh for no reason, go, go to casino to after nine o'clock. Yeah, you will flipping die. Just go and no money. Go and watch. Yeah. Go and watch. Don't play. Just go and watch and you'll see the funniest people in the world. Oh, my God. It's, it's also when you're playing blackjack and someone is ruining the table. Oh, There's my God. There's a player God. that doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. And they're trying to win their hand, but they're messing up everyone else's <laughs> hand. And, you know, it's usually usually like the Asian Asian person that's yeah. at the table that's getting pissed off. <laughs> they say, this man don't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. We're just cussing him. Hold that 17. What you did? Yeah. <laughs> but you're hitting and you're taking the four. <laughs> <laughs> now we're off. <laughs> I them I that place is so so It's funny. hilarious, man. I can't do it no more, man. Nah, I don't, I don't, leave, go. Man. don't go. I'm about just... to go like this to the cards, man. I just stacked the cards in half, man. Yeah, nah. What a place, man. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm cold, man, from laughing. For oh. Sake. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. So, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm tired of giving free promo to Casino. <laughs> yeah. Just some free promo to your boys, man, whatever. <laughs> oh, any brands for me this week? Um, Yes. The brand I'm going to shout out is the brand I was wearing on my birthday. Too cold. Yes. Patterns. Too cold. Patterns London. Um, they've ran me with jacket. One jacket and then one uh, like, they call them bowler t-shirts? I don't know what they yeah. call them. But um, regardless, uh, the detail, everything about those jackets. Cold. Yeah. So that's the brand I'm shouting out this week. Patterns London. Big up them every time. And I'll be back always to get some more more, more stuff. And I think everyone that might be at the party might be buying a yeah, few yeah, guys yeah, soon yeah. as well. So you got me still. Yeah, Patterns London. Quality, sensational, great brand. Mine this week, gonna be what I'm wearing. I think Jake was wearing another episode beforehand. Yep. Obviously our boy Luke. That's a shame to be giving him free promo. Man told me he was get me a white one time ago. I still ain't got the white. Do you know how long it took us to get the grey? Yeah. I see Wolf in the white though, but I ain't got the white. It's crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, Luke, I don't know what you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, too cozy, man. Mm-hmm. T, the t, it's in the name still. It's too cozy. Yep. I've wore this T and everyone's been like, "Where well, you got that?" I was like, "Well, like obviously," and it's just it's total comfort. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like material's good. I can't see how many times I wore this T, but you wouldn't even know. Like, you wash it at sixty. It's of course it's got a sixty wash. <laughs> No, the, the thing is, those are the quality on them. The quality is good. The quality yeah, is good. Can't, can't lie, I've had this one for over a year. The arm's starting to get a bit. Yeah. yeah but a year worth of wear. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't yeah. lie. Because yeah. me now, I'm done. I'm not getting a new t shirt for every event anymore or whatever. Just rewear. I've had enough. Yeah, yeah. Because no one's giving it damn. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's 
true. Personally. And if you come up to me and go, oh, I've seen you wear that tee before. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, why are you watching me like that? I'm going to tell you, i got a washing machine. Yeah. And why are you watching me so hard? Mm-hmm. It's true. You start focusing on yourself, exactly. big Exactly. But so. you saw me in my clothes before. Yeah. They're okay. mine. They're mine. I like it. And I I'm wear gonna, it. You know what I mean? Me before, you know what I mean? I said, like, oh, what if this person seen me in this tee before that? Chat. No one gives a dash. No, I'm at the event. I'm here. I pay for my ticket just Word. like you. You know what I mean? Maybe I didn't pay for the ticket. Yeah, because I'm not paying for I'm buying no but ticket as well. I'm in my clothes. So I mean. It looks nice, right? Yeah, that's why you've asked me as well. Exactly. Because you definitely asked me for this brand. Yes. So it just does my head in, man. Mm. I used to think, oh, they're wearing my tea and that. But you know what it is? I'll tell you a clock. Because people love to take pictures too much. Mm-hmm. So they post it on Instagram. And then they see people they know in an event. And that's when the people can go to you. What? I've seen that one before. Mm-hmm. Let me go back four weeks in your life. <laughs> right, when that again, yeah? Say no. Bro, that's four weeks ago. Yeah. What, so the washing machine don't work? And that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Four weeks, if I'm wearing something an outfit four weeks ago, you better believe I'm wearing it. Oh, four weeks ago. Especially if the outfit's nice. Correct. What do you think? I got an outfit, I got this jeans, jacket, this tee. For no reason. These shoes for no reason. For one to wear. To wear once. So you no. can be like, oh, rah. Sorry, the world gonna see me in this one. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna double down on that. Yeah. Correct. The world is gonna see me in this one. So too cozy. Yeah, too cozy, man. Yeah, big them up. Tea, tea's cold, man. Love it still. Can't lie, man. We missed out a section last week, which we, yeah. which we, we're speaking about the diddler and a lot of music stuff. Yeah. So we have to go back to our se- segment. Did it? Did they do it justice? Did they do it justice? Your music segment for yeah. the music sample for the week. Mm-hmm. Um. So what have you got for me? Let me be real. I am extremely struggling right now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Okay. Well, I will tell you mine then. Say you, so you set me up though, because I thought we, I thought we'd done a night, but. No, 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 no. I'll tell it's you mine. Like, because I was listening to the song. Um, oh, wait a second. Was I? Yeah. I was listening to the song. So, and then I clocked the uh, instrumental. Mm. So, my main song was um, I Keep Forgetting by Michael McDonald. Yeah. I Keep sure. Forgetting. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the, so that was the original. And the, who sampled it was Nate Dogg and Warren G. Regular. Yeah, like, yeah. Big tune. Yeah. And that's that's because I was listening to that song, and I went and played Warren. G. I was playing um, no, I was playing Nate Dog for some odd reason, and I was listening to the song. And I said to myself, Holden, is this? A, it sounds similar, so I actually went on Google, searched. Yeah. Told me that. that Hold on, I've got a sample in my head, Sorry. and I'll be I'll be real. Mm. Um, she did it justice, but I can't. I don't know. Could I've heard Buster on it. I like the Buster. So she sampled it, Buster what's or Grandmaster song? Flesh. So that Coyle Ray song, because mm. girls is players too. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Grandmaster Flash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. the message. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's the do, message. Do, do. Grandmaster Flash. That's a great sample. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mine. Yeah, that's been sampled a million times as well. You know, a, a million times. Yeah, because girls is players too. What's the, Grandmaster Flash? Is the real, the main song. But the who, message. Yeah. Who sampled that again? Then that's mean. Is it Buster? Do 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 do. do. Do, do. That's, that song's been sampled so many times, you know. That's Eminem, what you're the one you just got in there. What? I don't remember. Yeah. Because you know they sometimes still yeah, smooth, yeah. Up, smooth parts. So, so yeah, Eminem, I think, is taken from yeah. that. Yeah. That's a good one, though. Yeah. That's a good one off head. Yeah. Off head, that's a real good, Thank that's you. A good sample. That tune, that guy was actually crazy. Mm-hmm. Don't push me, because I'm um, good wait, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, that's that's a real good track. Real yeah. good track. I think Cody like was it. And I catch you on a flight. I have a money, make you wanna fight. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. up. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> I, she died justice. I'm not a Cody fan like that, but she. Yeah, no, that's a big track. Yeah, that's a big big track. Um, yeah, no. So that is our music sample. Well, lot well, because we're not stories from the game, because we told a million stories from the casino. You know, yeah. Um, I wanted to ask. So we said, what was, what was the moment when you, we said, what was the moment when it was like, this is football? Yeah. And this is what you feel like you could be doing. What is the moment that you felt like you arrived as a football player? So you stamped your authority like, okay, cool. I'm mm. here. I've arrived. This is me. I'm here. Um, I think when I've seen my third, my second year at Cov. I just started playing and I broke the clean sheet record. Mm. I was like, yeah, like, this is me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm here now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I thought I became a bit of a mainstay in the team. 
Um, who did we play? Was it Bradford away? Yeah, it's Bradford away. And now on a Tuesday night. And it was one of them tough games and I was just coming, collecting crosses, whatever. Mm. 2021, like unheard of. And I was like, right, like I'm here now. And then I think that's when I had people talking. Mm-hmm. Like, like, this kid's got a bit. Don't know where that bit's gone now, but... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like freaking out. <laughs> the conversations have stopped, didn't they? Freaking out. Happens. Happens. That's called bulls races, but it's another conversation. Oh yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, that was that was probably my, my where I felt thing. like I've gone, yeah, I'm here now. Do you know what I mean? Like this is me. The moment I am gonna the moment I felt like I arrived or respected was I'm gonna say and it weren't even in a match. Because sometimes you don't gain your respect in a the match there. Yeah. It was Training session, I was nine, to, I want to say 18 or 19, so I'd have been at Palace. I've said, I told you the story before, but um, match, you know how you do the match prep on the Fridays? Mm. We had Swansea the next day in the Premier League. This is when Sigurdsson, this is when Swansea were at their peak. Yeah, yeah. So we were Swansea, the first team that was starting a game on the weekend, Palace were themselves. Yeah. Swansea were balling, so Alan Pardew said, basically, go and do whatever you feel like doing, because Swansea do whatever they, they did. So I was allowed to just go and get the ball anywhere. And get the ball anywhere and feel free to do what I wanted. And essentially, I just dominated the training session to the point where we're doing match prep, but he's just said, it's now a game. Just go and carry on doing what you're doing, carry on yeah. doing what you're doing. Um, and then after the training session, he's coming to the, our change room, because we're in the 23 change room. He's coming to our change room and come and said, yeah, get your stuff. You're traveling with us. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, get your stuff. Come, come right now. You're traveling with us. Didn't have, didn't have anything booked. Didn't mm. have any, any of my stuff with me. I just did. He just like get your stuff. You're traveling with us. Mm. So that was a moment I felt like, and the first team players were also at the time just speaking about the performance in a training session. Yeah, and it's something I'd been doing on a daily basis anyway. But it's like you don't have the chance to showcase it that much unless yeah. you're up with them. Mm. And from there, it was kind of okay, cool. They knew what I was about, and I've yeah. arrived. And it was kind of a case of that's a good feeling when you finally. They're like, you know what you're about. Yeah, they, they, they understood. And when I would go up there from, I, I was relatively with them from that point on. Yeah. And they were just, it was just a case, okay, cool. That, give him the ball. You mm. get what I mean? You, you saw what he did to our first team, so he can do it to both teams. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was what I'd say. I'd probably arrive or gain the most respect yeah. around the building. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? When they're not looking at you, they're like the young player anymore. Yeah, like, right, like he's. Yeah. Yeah. You're not up there for no joke. Really. Yeah, exactly. So that would be the, that would be the um, day I'd say I arrived. Um, Things obviously didn't pan out how they would, yeah, how I would have liked happens. them to be. But, yeah. um, you know, I enjoyed what I could of my time when I was at Crystal Palace. I was there for bloody 13 years of my life. Yeah. So, Same. Um, I done what? Seven to 19? Yeah, a long time. Man. Yeah. So I was there from eight till 21. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I, go enjoy, I, I enjoyed and, you know, there are some players up there that I still speak to now and people I'm still close with and gain, gain good relationships. You know, it's always one of them mm-hmm. things where you'd want to be still... Yeah, playing as high as possible, but sometimes life don't pan out that way. Can I say it was really weird? Mm. Just to end on that, see when you leave them clubs, mm-hmm. and obviously you go lower down, you find another club. Why is it always like, like a jealousy thing? Like, like you're not there anymore. Oh, I Where heard that so much when I went to all the shop. You're not there anymore, like, bro. I, I know. I didn't like, why you are you reminding me? Yeah, they always say, "Oh, you're not a palace anymore. You can't do that here." Yeah, and I'd be thinking, okay. I remember I did a training session at. Berry with uh, Kevin Blackwell was the manager at the time and I passed it to the centre back it's my first day by the way <laughs> my beat sitting goes Doo! like beats that's the whistle goes, no 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 we don't do that Arsenal shit here. <laughs> no 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 Arsenal shit fuck off get it boom it I said excuse me he goes, you don't do that fucking shit, Ed. Yeah, mate. Get it. Fucking boom it. I said, yeah. Bruh. I looked at the goalkeeper coach who brought me here. Uh, Fred Barber, legend. Uh, I've looked at him. He's looked at me and just gone. <laughs> I've yeah. gone. What's what you brought me to? It's madness. I said, fuck you. Know. It's madness. I was glad, but I was glad I went to Aldershot because Gary Woodett was a manager. Yeah, he, and he played he total football. soccer, yeah. Yeah, he played football. So it worked for me in um, injuries just killed me at the time, but yeah. um, it worked for me in terms of the style of play and how we wanted to do things. So that's why I can credit them, credit them for. But mm. in general, man, just the drop is massive. Like when, you, when you're up there, 
You're up there. You're up there and you're playing football. You learn to play football mm. for the way the Premier League plays football. Yeah. You don't learn any other way. Correct. And you drop down and the ball's in the air the whole time. And you're trying to work out why the ball's in the, the air, air the whole yeah. time. It's mad, man. It just yeah. has accepted it, man. But hey, this has just been another episode, man. Mm-hmm. Um, one. Yeah. For it, me and 30 Monday. Yeah, boy, you're getting old. Yeah, I'm done, man. Good milestone to hit, though. Great milestone. You know what I mean? You know, you obviously know me back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know, around the streets. Mm-hmm. You know, you know the hood. A couple of people want to be down. I can't <laughs> lie. <laughs> I can't lie. I wouldn't allow that my house until I was it. So I left home. Was that 19, 20? <laughs> about the streets. I didn't know what the streets was, blood. <laughs> about the streets. I got up a great home, man. I am, I couldn't even lie, man. I couldn't even carry on the lie. For it me, bro. But yeah, man, mate, it's 30, man. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. man. So, yeah. Go and enjoy what you can enjoy. Enjoy, man. And still no kids, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's for winners now. Winners win. I do you call it. Man, so winners win. Winners win. <laughs> anyway, like and subscribe, my Thank people. You. Thank you for listening. Um, as Reese likes to say, repost, tune in. Come on. Let us. Like, just don't be, don't be shy. Honestly. And listen, you're all there doing kiki, kiki, kiki on the gram. Repost the thing. Yeah, because you're jarring me because you're like, oh, I want my Instagram to look fancy. Bro, if people unfollow you, it means they don't like you anyway. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> so why are you bothered? It's true. Damn, keeping up this persona for people that don't like you. Mm-hmm. Weirdos. So but anyway, yeah. thank you. God bless you always. And this is me, Reese. This is me, Jacob. And this is Chatbox Chronicles. Thank you for listening. Best.